Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our brand new series called the Caution Tunes Podcast News, the show where we address topics that we normally don't cover on the regular podcast. Enough of that intro shit. Let's jump to our first story. Let's talk about Drake and his what? house getting shot up. A lot of people got speculations on what's going on with that. Yo, like. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. How, how hurt do your feelings got to be to go, I'm going to go shoot up somebody's house because yeah. somebody's losing a rap beef? <laughs> it's some crazy shit. Man, it's, these are stands out here. They're not just regular fans. They stands. So. Stands? Damn. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, um... But either way, it's it's a bad situation. It's an unfortunate situation for the security guard that got shot. Hopefully, uh, he recover. Uh, yeah, he's in a apparently in very serious critical condition right now. So it's like, didn't they up a hand one guy? You said like, uh, they ever, I know they didn't get the guy that first the uh, first uh, shot the security well, guard. Apparently, the, the latest news is that there was another person who trans. Uh, I guess they were on the property. Are they? They got caught on the property trying to get into Drake's house. It's like, what What are you people doing? Wait, so so he got inside of the gate? No, this is another individual. This happened today. Apparently, there was another individual that also tried to get into Drake's house for whatever reason. Damn, that shit crazy. It's like, I mean, you got you to gotta stay safe out here. Like, hey. I'm just glad that Drake wasn't at, I don't think he was in the home at the time. And uh, it's Hopefully, like I said, the security guard recovers. Uh, in these stands or fans that he most like, I said, I'm not sure if it's uh about the Kendrick Lamar thing, but if it is, it's like, come on, y'all guys getting too carried away with this. It's just words. If, if, yeah. if y'all did that shit, man, y'all need to chill out with that. You know what I'm saying? Drake's still gonna be Drake. Yeah, you're still gonna be a millionaire with a bunch of money, right? It's like just still gonna this is a rap beef, ladies and, and gentlemen. These these guys are rich. They're successful. Yeah, don't they throw, your, don't throw your life fine. away. Shit like that. Don't throw your life away. Just enjoy the content. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, just Put enjoy the damn content. Um, but other than that, man, what? I mean, it, it it's <sighs> it's it's just a damn shame. It's like uh, you know, all this over. Uh, hopefully, it's not over a rap beef. But but if, even if it's over something else, it's still not worth. But you know, I would say in a worst case scenario, like he actually got beef with people out there in Toronto and they trying to basically take his life. Isn't this in like a neighborhood where this stuff, yeah, that, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's like, this is not, yet, yo. you know, that is a high hood somewhere. this is like a, a rich neighborhood. Yeah. That, that's a high profile, yeah, a very high profile. I, I doubt that it's like Drake is having fights out there with rich su suburbanites in Toronto. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not sure I buy it. The but, first incident was supposedly a drive by. Yeah, it was a, it was a drive by. So it's like, what motive? If you not going to rob the house, and you just you don't even get out the car, you just just start shooting. Like, so what motive would you have to? to, to yeah, literally that, shoot like, a security guard. I mean, clearly you wanted to do some level of damage. Yeah, but uh, well, we will definitely get more into this in a future episode on this whole you know, yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but right now, you know, we we uh. You know, have to turn to our next story. And the next one is uh, TikTok. You know, oh, apparently yeah. they are suing the United States government. I heard about that. Uh, you know, over over what has just passed the bill that passed that forces them to divest from China. Uh, and if not, uh, then they're going to get banned. Yeah, so what that, do you guys think of that? Like, I, I mean, this this been going on for years, you know, with this with the TikTok stuff. I just feel like if America can't get their hands on it, they can't regulate it. They don't want it over here, nowhere near America. Shit, I mean, uh, America soil. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's do, like, but do y'all, do you guys think that's unreasonable, right? I mean, yeah, the, it the is. Truth is that China can get the data from TikTok whenever they want? I mean, it's, is, it's literally in their their laws, right? If they wanted tomorrow to say TikTok, you know, we can have all your data, <laughs> they're gonna have, have to, it, they're it, gonna have to give it up. So it's like. Got, you, you know, gotta, I, I see both sides of it. You got to look at this, though. If America come and tell a, uh, like, tell TikTok, okay, you got to fix this. You got to fix that. You got to fix it. You got to you gotta do all this stuff and they end up fixing it and they still pickering it on and shit, trying to make you sell your own company that you created from the ground up. Like, bro, that, I don't, I don't, I don't see no, no fairness in that. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't put your hands in something I built. So you think it's more that they want to take over the TikTok business? Exactly. And because it's less about them trying to uh, basically 
stop the Chinese people from yeah, uh, I, that's exactly from, what I think. spying on them. Yes, exactly. Well, well, well two exactly. things can kind of be true at the same time. I think, you know, Caution has a, has a, you know, made a good point about that. But there's also, there is the reality here, right? That China is, in fact, probably going to use it. I mean, you, you were talking about these two powerful countries that are ultimately up to no good in, in some way or another. I mean, I just, I just feel like, I feel like yeah. it's, it's no fair. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go put your hands in YouTube shit. You know what I'm saying? Go put your hands in somebody else. Well, I mean, to- a lot of people have brought up that, you know, we're talking about this in the context of TikTok, but you also have Facebook. A lot of these other social media platforms have issues. <laughs> and when it comes to what they're doing with, uh, you know, the American people's data. Uh, I feel like it's a bad thing if uh, the U.S. decide to ban TikTok because it have so many artists, so many right. uh, great people who uh, made a platform for themselves. And to see it just get taken away like that would be pretty sad. Yeah. And I they mean, feel the same way, apparently. Not, <laughs> not only that, like you got like major companies using their like. Like yeah, major PMC, platforms. Uh, Tahoe, you got all ironically, these Ironically, the very politicians who are trying to ban it are also on it. So, yeah, so it's like, so, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, crazy. But that should show you, I don't, I don't think they want to ban TikTok. I just think they, like, they want to put their hands in. They want to regulate it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They, they, they want to yeah, control it. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they want to control it. They does want does anybody power. actually believe a, a company as big as TikTok is going to go anywhere? No, I don't believe no, it. No, it's, it's just not going to happen. It's like, it'll, you know, this will most likely end with it being sold to some rich asshole. But yeah, I mean, you know, that, I mean, that's what happened when, when American, American didn't create shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and you from China, you can create shit like this and it, and it comes to America. Of course, America going to want to take over that shit because you know, at the end, they want more power. Well, all of them you, do, right? It's like, that's the game. It's like, you don't think the Chinese wants more power? I mean, everybody I mean, wants more power. Of course, of course. Uh, you know. Of course. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to take off for China and shit like yeah. that, but at the, at I mean, the no, end of the but, day. But, I mean, you're right. It's like, that in the, at, that, in the, at the end of the day, we're talking about these two countries that right. want to win. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean China could. They both want to win. China could, like, be taking data and shit. Like, he, they could do that. You know well, they very saying? much can do that. Uh, we don't. But, no, I, I won't say could because we, there's no evidence, at least so far, that they've ever done it. And I don't want to put that out there. But it's what, it's, but, it's the fear, right? It's but, like if I can get you to fear it, then it's easy for the takeover. But I mean, yep. America do the same shit. True. America will do the same shit. <laughs> if America say. go crazy something and it become uh, popular in China, you gonna think you don't think China gonna want that shit up out of there? Absolutely. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. They will. They, they, they're they're going to want to regulate I mean, it. it. Yeah, they're going to want to regulate it. They're not going to trust it. I, I doubt that China would just be OK with an American version of TikTok in the United, you know, but, coming from the United States in their in their country, right. monitoring, getting data from their I mean, It's like, I, you know, but before we can go further, you know, we have. Some final bit of piece of big news. It's it's the biggest news. I've been waiting for this since we started, you know? Superman. Oh. Y'all saw the new image, the latest image of Superman. I I, I heard about the new image of it um, when we was talking about. I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully DC can bounce back from those terrible Justice League movies that (laughs) they've been making. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Like uh, well, I saw I saw it and it's like I'm I'm impressed. I mean the actor. He definitely has the Superman look. So you know? who who's uh, directing the movie? You know, have it any? is James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, the other Suicide Squad. Not the terrible one, but the second one that came out that was actually pretty good. So yes, yeah, one that didn't have Will Smith. So like you got yeah. a, a better director. Oh, yeah, you got a so. better director. Obviously, <laughs> you know anybody could. Top hey, Zack Snyder crazy. at this point. <laughs> you know? he, he really do look like a superhero though. Yeah, it like he yeah. He, he definitely got the Superman look. I saw the image and I was like, oh, okay. But yeah. you know, he, he looked older. Uh, you think he's saying that? He looks younger. Uh, hey, maybe. Well, I mean. Henry Cavill com- compared, looked a bit older than him. Compared to the, the old Superman. Is that him right here? Ain't it? Yeah. No, that's not him. That's, that's not him. Oh, I was going to say. I thought you were looking at the image. It's like, <laughs> I should pulled up an image of James Brown. It's like, what? <laughs> but, you, <laughs> hey, but you know. Uh, the hell is this? I, I'm happy they really got a new uh, like Superman character. I mean. Person, because I didn't think the guy that was painted was he wasn't that, as good as I I expected him to be. I like Henry Cavill. I don't think it was on him. I just think Zack Snyder. I mean, Zack who, Snyder. Who, that's who? like Man of Steel, Justice League, Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'm about to say that. Man I, I mean, even though he didn't direct Suicide Squad, it, it you know even but that movie still, is kind of I mean he still didn't, trying to ape his style to some degree. I mean, it's just he did not fit that 
that hero look. Like he didn't fit Superman. Like if you look at him, he looked angry. Like he looked like. And it, and it comes down to the director because I, so, I think Henry Cavo could have played it. So who, who uh played and uh who's the Superman and Man of Steel? It was Henry Cavill. See, I don't, I didn't have a problem with that actor. I had the problem with the, the uh, movie. The movie <laughs> itself, like the movie was terrible. Like yeah, the, was like the uh, special effects they had was terrible. Like well, it was actors, just a I don't one. Think it was on that. It was a damn video game, right? It's like if it, 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 you know, it got to a point where it was a long ass fight scene. Just, I, I'm always, I always been a DC fan, like. It yeah, just I'm, so I'm, happens I'm, that I'm actually a big DC fan. Myself. Yeah, it just so happens that they movies ain't been as great yeah, yeah, I mean, as, as of lately. Like, like I say, DC Justin Lee could have been good. It's just the actor. It, they don't have. It's like they try too hard. Yeah, it, no, it's, no, it seems like they I don't, don't think try, they hard, try hard enough. Because <laughs> <don't see> like, <laughs> you can see, you like, you can tell like some of the some of the like scenes, like it seemed like they were trying to go for some humor. Like a little laughter, but I yeah. didn't. I didn't get that. Like I'm like, okay, the Flash, because everybody know Barry Allen. He's kind of yeah. funny, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, uh, he was trying to make these these jokes, and I was like, ah, uh, didn't. I feel like somebody came up to Zack Snyder and said, you know, your your Batman versus Superman movie was so dark. So hey, like, we got to throw some jokes in here. Hey, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, I can bat, <laughs> You better can see I the fight know, screen. You, you, you can't see shit. Yeah, <laughs> but you can see the rain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You can see the rain. You can see crazy. the rain. But you can't see them. You can't like, see my job. Like, what the hell going what's on What's the in this last movie? D- good DC movie? You said Suicide Squad, but I think the last Wonder Woman movie, not the la- last one, the first one, though. Well, are we counting the DC? No, we're not counting the Batman movies because that has nothing to do with the DC. We're not counting the Joker movies. So the last oh, so one. So, so, so the new Joker movie is not, not. Well, it's not. It's not connected to Zack Snyder. Like, oh, okay. look oh, at the Joker it's not, movie. It's not connected to that director. But I'm saying DC as a whole, like, yeah, but it's just not connected to any of that. It's like, oh, yeah, the Joker movie takes place in like the 1970s. It's, it's just, yeah. it's a different thing. And the same thing with Batman. He has no connection. The last to, DC you know, movie was made or was the Aquaman. Oh, that was terrible. That was yeah. Aquaman too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I heard that was pretty terrible. Yeah, I think it was Aquaman. But before we can go further. We kind of have to cut it off here because it's like, you know, we came to an end. This was like kind of very much uh, our very first episode. You guys get to tell us how we did. Do you want to see more? Do you want to, you know, you do want to see more, you know, watch it, subscribe, like, do what you do. But uh, for now, the yeah, end yeah. of Caution Tunes Pop Culture News Episode 1. Uh, yeah, we're out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hell yeah. <laughs>